All right, I'm gonna be making a bread box and I previously started one using these pieces, but it's gonna end up too big. So I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller with a different design. The first step is going to be tracing these uh, acrylic templates I have on there. I'm gonna use the miter saw to cut as close to the line as possible and then follow it up with the band saw. Now I'm gonna use some double-sided tape to attach this acrylic template to the piece of wood and then uh, use my flush trim bit on the router to trim off the excess. Now I'm going to make the groove that the door slides in by routing out a channel along this template. Now with the channels done, it's time to glue up the top and the back. Now for the back piece, I'm just going to cut it to size to fit into there. It's about 16 and a half and six and five eighths. Okay, so I have this back piece fit in there and now I'm going to use my uh, speed square to mark where I need to cut to make this back piece here. Before I glued everything together, I went ahead and sanded everything down, starting with 120 and moving to 220. I glued everything together, being careful not to get any glue inside the track for the door. All right, there you go. It's all clamped up, the top and the back. I'm gonna let it sit overnight and then uh, clean it up. So I had to do a bunch of trial and error because uh, the router bits I had did not work for this type of door. And so I ended up just doing slats that fit into the groove on the sides. And um, the bottom piece is a little bit wider so that it hits this and stops. And then I had to go again and ended up ripping them in half. So they're cut to about half an inch, maybe a little bit shorter. They were one inch slats and then I cut them in half and they seem to be able to make the curve pretty, pretty decently. They're not connected yet. I'm gonna connect them on the back with uh, fabric glued to it. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. All right, so I did a couple test pieces and I had two different kinds of fabric. So I wanted to see which one I thought would hold on better. Um, I think I'm gonna go with this one. It seemed to stick a little bit better when the glue was uh, wet. This piece is a little bit thicker. So I put cardboard underneath underneath these pieces to make up the, the gap. That way the part that fits in into the groove uh, lines up correctly. I'm gonna use wedges, put in like so, and tapped to put pressure this way so that it closes all the gaps. So that, that way no glue gets in, in between the board. Once that's done, I'm gonna cover it with glue. I'm gonna put the fabric on there, spread it out, press it down, and I'm gonna put this on on top, and I'm gonna put some weight on there. Now we're gonna let it sit so the glue could soak into the fabric. All right, now we're gonna take this off, see how it turned out. Looks 
like a couple of them got stuck together. It's going to need a little bit of cleanup. Like this one has some glue uh, in there. But um, other than that, I think it turned out pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and uh, sand it down and clean it up. All the edges got a round over with the router. So I filled some of the cracks and holes with some sawdust and wood glue. Now I'm gonna go ahead and sand that off. This is the base of the bread box and it is also getting a round over and then I'm gonna sand it down before gluing it on the bottom. Go ahead and blow off all the dust and then I'm gonna get it wet uh, to raise the grain and then I'm gonna sand it again one last time before putting finish on. I'm going to be using a beeswax and mineral oil finish on this that I made. And you wanna make sure you put finish on the door before putting it in the channel. Making sure to get plenty of wax on the part that slides inside the channel. You have to apply finish on the door and then install it in the track before gluing on the bottom of the bread box. I applied finish to the rest of the bread box and then used a very dull drill bit to drill a hole for the handle. Here it is all finished and ready for some bread. Thanks for watching.